I actually started teaching home Bible studies because women over a cup of coffee, cookie, and a Bible would get saved. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Awaken the Wonder. I have a very special series that I'm going to do with world-renowned evangelist and tele-evangelist, Dr. Marilyn Hickey. She has been used all around the world and, and seen profound miracles, signs, and wonders, healings, and has witnessed the gospel going forth to some of the most unreached places on the planet. She operates by faith, miracles, signs, and wonders, and she's going to be a great blessing to us this week. We have a multiple-part series that's going to be coming to you. And we're going to ask her a question each day. So this is the very first one. And we're going to turn it over to Dr. Hickey here. Welcome to the program, Dr. Hickey. Thank you, Caleb. Nice to be here. I so appreciate you being here and taking the time to join us. Thank you for the invitation. I yes, appreciate thank it. Thank you. Um, so our first question for you is, what was it like starting out in the ministry for you? Well, I actually started teaching home Bible studies because women over a cup of coffee, cookie, and a Bible would get saved. You know, women were coming and getting saved, and they said to me, uh, have you ever thought of going on the radio? And so I hadn't thought of it, but I thought that's a good idea. Wow. So that was kind of the process that started it. So somebody just asked you a simple question, have you ever thought about the radio? And it turned into the media ministry that you've had. Well, it just started in a little way, five minutes a week. Wow. And so, you know, I was very thrilled with it. I thought I'm reaching people I never reached before. My husband was happy with it. He was a pastor wow. and we began to have new people come to our church. So it was a good fishing tool. Amen. I like fishing. Amen. Now, I, I imagine even as a woman, that would have been a little less common even back then. It was very uncommon. And so, you know, I had people who questioned it. But really, when you teach the Word, people are hungry. Mm -hmm. And I am very much for the Word of God. Amen. Yeah. Um, now, the question I'd like to ask you as a follow-up to that is, what advice would you give to a minister who would like to launch out into the ministry? It could be male or female, but they just feel a stirring in their heart for God, and they want to take a step into the ministry. Are you talking about media or just starting? Just generally. Just generally. Well, I started where there were lost people because I thought, what does God want? God wants the lost and people are being fed. So I began holding those home Bible studies and I would suggest you look for unsaved people. Amen. And feed them coffee and cookies and cake and Bible. Amen. Did you <laughs> I'm think... I'm still doing it. Oh, well, that was, that was what I was going to say yeah. is even though now you have a worldwide ministry through the media you still are doing the home Bible studies, which is well, amazing. It's an opportunity in Denver now. We have a lot of Russians coming in, Indonesians coming in. And so these people, you know, they want to know somebody. They want somebody that's friendly. So I'm shaking bushes and trees. Amen. Now, for somebody who may be a little bit further along in life right now, but they think it's too late for them to go into the ministry, what would you say to them? Everyone has a ministry. I don't think it's ever too late. Amen. You know, I think as long as there are lost people here, we have a ministry. Wow. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here for part one of our series and looking forward to the rest of the series this week. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys tomorrow with Dr. Hickey's next question in the ministry. Thank you for listening to Awaken the Wonder. If you enjoyed today's show and want more ministry like this, please visit kingdomencounters.us where you can find weekly blogs in my latest book, Hunger. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at the tag Evangelist Caleb Wampler. If the Lord leads you to partner with us in the nations in prayer and giving, visit kingdomencounters.us. I'll see you next time.